little variation, very fun to learn and to handle as long as you don't mind um, dealing with string crossings and leaping over strings from time to time to uh, achieve the desired effect. Uh, it's uh, kind of a combination of uh, spiccato and jeté. He writes jeté, and it's supposed to be in the middle of the bow, so, you know, there we go. Um, <clears throat> just be careful with, you know, changing the strings and crossing the strings. This is uh, where I think most people are having some trouble with, with the text. Also, uh, as you're dealing with the 16th notes, remember that switching into the 8th notes must be as elegant and graceful as possible. So that also presents a little bit of a challenge. So jeté is uh, sort of like a ricochet bowing and it just um, happens to be going up bow and <clears throat> in a kind of a measured out in controlled fashion. So it's not just random bouncing. It's not, it's uh, uh, you controlling the bow. So be aware of that. Of course, when you're getting into a series of 16th notes, um, this is a good idea to first learn on the string and then try to do the um, spiccato bow stroke in the middle. And of course the next one, There's a few tricky moments where you have to be careful uh, leveraging the difference between 16th notes and 8th notes. And be sure to do that in the best, best way you can. It really should just sound good. Otherwise, it's a really, really fun little uh, exercise, fun variation, and um, not too terribly fast. So if you get it up to speed to 63, um, you're doing really well. Well, as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, I invite you to visit my website where you can find more information about the violin lessons I teach online. Thanks for watching.